Hello guys, this is Wario speaking to you and welcome to a new episode of Gaming Mysteries. Today we're gonna talk about Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion is a game for the Nintendo GameCube and it's starting to get pretty old. It still is, if you ask me, one of the scariest games that are non-horror games. So last year Luigi's Mansion got a sequel. Luigi's Mansion 2. I own Luigi's Mansion 2 myself and I must say it's pretty good, but it does lack some of the features that the original Luigi's Mansion has. Even though Luigi's Mansion 2 has uh, better gameplay, if you ask me, it's more challenging and it has more side quests, it doesn't have that scary atmosphere that the original game owns. While Luigi's Mansion 2 is based on these smaller mansions around uh, like the Evershade Valley, I think it's called, the original game is based on one huge scary shit mansion, and it has a much darker atmosphere, if you ask me. The, the music is a lot scary in the original game, the rooms are even more scary, the ghosts are scary if you ask me, and everything with the original game just seem a heck a lot scarier than the Luigi's Mansion 2 for the 3DS. Even though both of them are good, nothing can beat the original. So today I'm gonna talk about the beta of Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion was first shown at Space World 2000, along with other beta titles like a Metroid game and a Zelda game, simply to show what the new GameCube was capable of. Later on, some of the games were scrapped, but some actually made it to become real games. Luigi's Mansion was one of them. However, there wasn't much of Luigi's Mansion we actually saw at that Space World 2000 gameplay. At the end of the clip there, for a few seconds only, you can see three ghosts sitting around a table. And this is a very interesting part in the story. Because these three ghosts can actually be seen in the final version of the game. On a machine that turns ghosts into portraits, a little picture of these three little ghosts can be seen. So who knows who these three ghosts actually were? Then again, at Space World 2001 was the year when this little clip was shown to become an actual game named Luigi's Mansion, including this Game Boy Horror you see at the bottom right screen. But first of all, before I talk about that, I'm gonna show the trailer of the beta of Luigi's Mansion. So here we go. <laughs> Now, let's talk about the Game Boy Horror. Now, in the original game, the Game Boy Horror normally shows a miniature version of the player's score. But in the beta version here, you can see a clock that shows a timer. We are unsure if this is actually rumors or if it's actually a true fact, but it's said that Luigi only had 24 hours to rescue Mario before the mansion along with Mario would disappear forever. 
And it's pretty scary to think about that, you know, you're in a haunted mansion, you have to rescue Mario, you have to go through all these haunted rooms and find Mario within 24 hours or else everything would be disappear and, you know, Mario would be gone forever. So this is where the creepy shit scene at the end of the trailer comes into place. Because in the files of Luigi's mansion there are found three postures of Luigi. And it's believed that these three Luigis are ranks on how fast you can beat the game. Because you can see on the final one here, the, because on the final one, as you can see here, it's the same creepy Luigi as you can see at the end of the trailer. So it's believed that this is like the rank you would get when you didn't rescue Mario in time. And Mario would disappear forever along with the mansion and Luigi would go into a deep depression of some sort. And probably also the scene you can see at the end of the trailer would most likely be played. Next up is the intro sequence and we can see that it's a little different than the original one. It's a little shorter and the camera zooms very quickly onto the mansion, but other than that it's very identical. Except for when Luigi enters the house. You can see that it doesn't have his flashlight. So maybe Luigi had to acquire the flashlight somewhere in the game. Next up is the heads up display as you can see. When it comes to the heads up display it's very different. On the heart meter you can see that it says slash 100 behind, something that isn't featured in the final game. Also you can see a coin counter that was quickly removed for some reason. Also the meter for the elemental also, also the meter for the elemental vacuum powers, fire or water or ice, was previously an overheat meter, where the vacuum would eventually overheat and Luigi would fall on the floor. It is also believed that Luigi's mansion was actually going to be for a Nintendo 64 to begin with. Taking this into account, we have this unused picture of Daisy inside the files of Luigi's mansion that was never been used. This is actually the same picture of Daisy from Mario Tennis 64, so maybe Luigi's Mansion was planned for Nintendo 64 after all. However, the Daisy picture is named as Test, so it may have been just a test picture before they implemented any other ghost or Mario or any other picture. As for the ghost in the beta, there were several unused ghosts, like this fat blue one that you can see a picture of right here, and then we have this purple one, and then we have this pink one with his nose, that actually looks like an earlier version of this blue big guy. The purple punchers were also yellow before. Now there's one interesting unused ghost that we actually have footage of. It's a very unique ghost as it would sneak up behind Luigi as a smoke. And eventually it would pop up and Luigi would scream and there would actually appear text saying WHA! And Luigi would fall on the floor and crawl and lose half of his health. Also in the beta you were apparently able to walk outside of the mansion and explore the area around it. Why? Because using an action replay you are actually able to walk down in Ejad's lab, where you can see the training room, meaning that you have to manually walk into the door to get to the training room. And you also have a door that will lead to the machine room where ghosts would turn into pictures, meaning that you can walk in there freely. And there also is a ladder that you can actually climb on using this action replay, but it would lead to nowhere. Meaning that you could, most likely, explore the area around the mansion, which would be amazingly cool. So you know that feeling you get when you watch deleted scenes from movies? When you think like, ah, why didn't they put these clips in this mini movie? Well, that's the kind of feeling I get now. All of us would love to play the beta of Luigi's Mansion, but betas will most of the time remain a mystery because they are probably somewhere deep down in the trash can of Nintendo. Maybe it exists somewhere out there, so maybe somebody has it somehow, but maybe even Nintendo have it. That would be the most obvious answer, but we, we will never know, probably. Most likely it's gone forever. And all that remains are these clips and information that we have. So the beta of Luigi's Mansion was probably going to be a bit darker and more scary than the original game, which I would actually love. But that doesn't really matter, because the original game turned out to be a masterpiece after all. Also, that doesn't have anything to do with the beta, but actually a very creepy easter egg slash glitch is that somewhere in the game, after you play it a while and get to a certain point in the game, the power will turn off in the whole mansion because the lightning strikes down and you have to go back and turn on the power. However, if you decide to proceed, Instead of going back to turn on power, if, it, if you decide to proceed while the power is off, you can get into the telephone room. And you go into the telephone room while the power is off. Then the phone will actually ring. And that's pretty scary. If you then pick the phone up and then wait for the lightning to strike, you will actually see Luigi's shadow on the wall. But it actually looks like he's hung. And this is what is so creepy about this. 
Now people have done some research on this and some think that it may be because the angels shift. Now some people have done some research on this and people think that it may be because the angel of the camera changes from this perspective from above will reach it to right behind him. But that may be the reason or some people think that it is a very dark and really scary easter egg that Nintendo put in. I don't really know what to believe in this. If it actually is a glitch or if it actually is meant to be there. But I think it would be a bit too dark to have a hung Luigi shadow in a child's game. And that was the beta of Luigi's Mansion. I don't have any more information but if you have then please post it in the comments below, and also post comments on what you think about this. Also make sure to leave a like rating if you enjoyed this video, and also make sure to subscribe for more gaming mysteries from me. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.